benefit of having the farm walk today is to let people visually see what the plants are doing underneath, look at the effects of ripping or the non-effect from ripping, um, looking at the soil types here and then those people taking the knowledge home from this soil type to the similar soil types they might have in their farming operation. And look, just a general chit chat, getting to know uh, the soil scientists and, and the other people that are here today. Growers like to see things in the paddock in, in a big scale. So this is one of the sites that have been put in with um, some of the funds available through the project. So today's field day has been organised by the Irrigated Cropping Council under their GRDC funded project, looking at soil amelioration in irrigation uh, here in the Murray Valley. The reason we're looking in this soil pit today, we have a soil pit here which has been ripped down to about 45 centimetres and there's another soil pit further over which in country that hasn't been ripped and the main thing we were looking was to see whether there was an effect of that ripping. The benefits of conducting trials like this is that people can actually put them in their um, sort of their soil, in their environment, under their conditions because uh, you know, there's a lot of hype about this sort of subsoil amelioration well, maybe 10 years ago, but that was in the southwest of Victoria. So high rainfall zone, issues with so drainage, um, issues with water logging. So you come up here and we're in a totally different environment. You know, fairly low rainfall, um, we can control the moisture better. Um, so it's great to be able to try those techniques in our environment. The digging the soil pit gives us an opportunity to stand in the ground physically and look what's happening below the surface where the root zones of the plants are and we've dug these holes to a depth of about a metre so we're investigating from the surface to a metre deep what's happening underneath the ground. The crop preceding this was a canola crop which was sown in April 2021 uh, and the, the, the reaping trial was done just prior to the, the establishment of the canola crop. A soil pit opens up a profile so you can actually see it and then in having a look at it you can assess where roots are and whether there's any constraints or impediments to root growth. This soil here, you know, we, we can see we've got roots down here to, you know, I think that's 50 centimetres. We've got plants growing here and we've got a reasonable distribution of roots through this. The general consensus is that we can't see any physical changes in this soil or significant, uh, significantly obvious physical changes in the soil as a result of ripping. We do think there has been an effect in that when we have looked at the soil and we've done a field test of pH, we've had some acid topsoil we think mixed in and so there's been a mixing. But really this pit doesn't show that there's any long lasting effect of ripping in this soil type which is sodic. The soils here are, do have their own constraints. It's a sort of a heavy clay soil. So yeah, they are probably quite challenging soils to work with and maintaining, maintaining a, a good productivity level doesn't come without its challenges. In this instance, there was an issue around trying to increase the bucket, a water holding bucket in this soil. I mean, we've got this much and they wanted greater water holding in it. This soil is sodic. The reason why sodicity is a problem is because it, in under wet conditions, the soil the clays, they disperse into water and in that dispersed um, state they fill pores and block them so you get less transport of air and water through the soil and the end result is you end up with an issue with water logging. We'll continue to watch and monitor the yield. We've got the, the zones all mapped out now with the GPS so we understand and can correlate the data after each harvest, whether it be a summer crop harvest or a winter crop harvest. So we can continue to investigate and monitor the, the results from the ripping trial over years to come. So, and um, we'll continue to explore and question and, and try and understand if there is any further benefit from, from doing this ripping or whether there's more suitable methods. Sometimes you, know, you may not get the result you want. Um, you can even get a no result. So from our perspective as extension, that that's what we want to tell people. Don't bother chasing, a, as I said, a solution to a problem you don't have. So I'd rather if we can demonstrate that only in certain you know, environments or in certain soil types or in certain irrigation uh, infrastructure that you will see a benefit, then I hopefully we're saving a lot of growers a lot of money by you know, not implementing something that's not suitable for their, for their situation.
It's definitely worth investigating what our soils are doing and, and having the opportunity with uh, GRDC funding these opportunities and research trials.